You know what? I think this is it. A recorded walkthrough with RCMP as Lisa Banfield shows a tree she hid beside in Portapique the night of April 18th, 2020. And I thought if I could just make it to the morning, then I can crawl out and get help. And while I'm there, I can hear shots. The harrowing account of the gunman's former common-law spouse. But the horror started earlier. The couple were celebrating their 19th anniversary, but a dispute started, and Lisa Banfield says Gabriel Wartman became irate. He pulled me down on the, ground, on the side of the bed on the floor, and he's on top of me. Choking me and yelling at me. Eventually, she says he handcuffed her. And I'm like, Gabriel, it doesn't have to be like this. Like, please, no. And he's like, give me your other hand. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, if you're going to kill me, just do it because I can't take this anymore. The perpetrator grabbed Banfield by the hair, forcing her into his replica RCMP cruiser with loaded guns. She recalls escaping into the woods. But abuse and threats were common for the 53-year-old. She moved in with the gunman above his Dartmouth Denture Clinic in 2001, describing him as an alcoholic who cheated on her and humiliated her in front of others. Documents describe incidents when he threatened her with a gun to her head, choking her and hitting her, and another incident at a party near Portapique. Ms. Banfield wanted to leave the party while the perpetrator, who had been drinking wanted to stay. Ms. Banfield attempted to drive away in their Jeep. The perpetrator jumped into the Jeep and began to hit Ms. Banfield about the body and the head. Ms. Banfield stopped the car and ran into the woods. The commission's lawyer says he found her and dragged her back to the Jeep. Police were called and reportedly drove him home. But no charges came from that call, nor when a neighbor reportedly called in a separate assault in Portapique. Lisa Banfield will take the stand on Friday, but won't be cross-examined by family's lawyers. Callum Smith, Global News, Halifax.